Hi, I'm Dr. Ann Manzardo. I'm an associate professor in the Department of Psychiatry at the University of Kansas Medical Center. Um, and I worked with Dr. Davila and Awakening KC um, to carry out a retrospective chart review study of her patient population. We carried out a retrospective chart review study of about 247 patients. There were um, 150 females and I think 98 males. And we found a 72% overall remission rate. Uh, individuals started out quite severely depressed. They had PHQ-9 scores uh, at baseline of 21. And we found that the PHQ-9 scores decreased linearly over time over the course of the six-week treatment plan. Um, individuals had an average r rate of remission um, our average time to remission of three weeks. And so we found that, you know, it had a pretty good average remission time within three weeks of the initial treatment. We found that there was a differential response rate for individuals who had previously been psychiatrically hospitalized, um, individuals who also had had a previous history of suicide attempts, um, we were hitting about 80% response rates in those individuals um, compared to 60% response rates in individuals without uh, those prior histories. So it demonstrates uh, really good reliability in, in patient populations with severe psychiatric illness. So um, in, in this clinical setting, the response rates were very, very good. So Dr. Davila's clinic has a, kind of an unusual scenario, in which case she has two different um, TMS units for which to treat patients. And uh, we were able to compare the response rates of two different units, one of them being the MagVenture. And we were surprised to find that uh, the MagVenture unit uh, had a significantly higher remission rate of about 78% compared to 62%. So we observed a clinically significant remission for both instruments, but we did note that the MagVenture showed a higher remission rate, which was unexpected and, and um, interesting and, you know, raises some interesting questions. So we were very pleased to see um, and, and validate this impressive technology that we would see in a clinical setting like this. Um, such a good response rate was very favorable, especially when you're considering individuals who are um, severely psychiatrically ill.